This is the second tutorial in our series titled Exponents, Logs and Thirds. Today we're going to be looking at logs which are basically an extension of exponents. In terms of what you need to know, you need to be familiar with the previous tutorial which was tutorial 1 Exponent Basics and Third Basics. Now let us take a closer look at logarithms. The whole idea behind logarithms is to take a variable that is in exponential form out of exponential form so that we may solve for it if we cannot use exponential laws. What do I mean by that? Have a look at this example. 5 is equals to 3 to the power x and I say solve for x. Seems pretty difficult to do without exponents. Now think about this. If we bring in a log, it's going to become log base 3 5 is equals to x. And log base 3 to the power 5 can be solved very easily on your calculator. Therefore, we can surmise that y, if y equals to a to the x, log a to the y is equals to x. The a and in the previous example the 3 are known as the base. The y or in the previous example the 5 are known as the power. Now in the absence of a base because we're using log spelled l-o-g we assume that the base is 10 if there is nothing else there. Similar to the previous tutorial you saw in your square root if there wasn't a 2 we assumed it I mean if there wasn't any number we assumed it to be a 2. With logs if there is no base we assume it to be 10. All right? Now that is using the log function LOG. There is another log function called the natural log which is denoted by LN and you should be able to find that on your calculator but that is not needed at high school level. Now remember Logs are in many ways just an extension of exponents. Hence, most of the laws governing exponents may be applied in a slightly manipulated way to give us the following log laws. Just as exponents have laws that govern them, so do logarithms. You will notice as I go through the log laws that most of these laws are very similar to the exponential laws. Law 1 log base a x y is equals to log base a x plus log base a y. Law 2 log base a x divided by y is equals to log base a x minus log base a y. Law 3 log base a x is equals to log base b x over log base b a. Now that base b could be any base you want it to be. It could also be log x over log a. That is assuming that there's a base of 10. Law 4 log base a x to the power b is equals to b log base a x. Law 5 log base a to the x is equals to 1 over log base x to the a. Law 6 log 10 is the same as log base a to the a which is the same as 1. Use log 3 to understand why that happens. Use law 3 rather to understand why that happens. Law 7 log base a to the power 0 is undefined. Law number 8 log base a to the 1 is equals to zero. Now using the log laws that we've just gone through 
I want you to try and apply that and do the following examples. Welcome back. The first one that I gave you under the simplifying category read log base 4 to the power 4 and we need to simplify this. You can use one of the log laws and just say very simply that log base 4 to the power 4 is equal to 1. The alternate way of tackling this one is you can give it a variable. I'm going to give it the variable y. log base 4 to the power 4 is equal to y. So I'm trying to solve for y. This will mean that 4, that's that 4 over there, is equal to 4, that's that one over there, to the power y. That 4 is sort of pushed that y up. That means that 4 to the power 1 is equal to 4 to the power y. Bases are the same. That means that the exponents have to be the same. 1 is equal to y. If y is equal to 1, remember y was equal to this. It means that log base 4 to the 4 is equal to 1. The next one I gave you to do read log base 3 to the power 81. This one again I'm going to start by giving it a variable. Let's call it x. This means that 81 is equal to 3 to the power x. Now remember 81 is the same as 3 to the power 4 which is equal to 3 to the power x. Bases are the same. That means that the exponents have to be the same. That means that x is equal to 4. Remember x was equal to log base 381. Therefore log base 381 is equal to 4. The third one I gave you to do read log base 2 16 multiplied by log base 2 8. What I'm going to do with this one here, I'm going to start by simplifying that and that. This is going to become log base 2 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. Multiply by log base 2. 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. Now you'll remember from one of your log laws that that exponent 4 can come to the front to become 4 log base 2. 2 multiplied by 3 log base 2 to the 2. Log base 2 to the 2 as you saw from example 1 and one of your log laws is the same as 1. So that will be 4 times by 1 multiplied by 3 times by 1. 4 by 3 is 12. The fourth one that I gave you to do read log 81 over log 27 or rather log 81 divided by log 27. Again the first thing I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to simplify this 81 and simplify the 27. 81 is the same as 3 to the power 4 and 27 is the same as 3 to the power 3. 
that four can come to the front, the three can come to the front, that leaves us with four log three divided by three log three. Remember both are to a base of ten. Log three divided by log three cancels out, that leaves us with an answer of four over three and you can leave it in that form. The fifth one that I gave you to do read log base a half oops, log base a half eight. Now with this one here again I'm going to give it a variable or I'm going to make it equal to a variable. Let's choose the variable a. That means that log base a half to the power 8 is equal to a. This means that 8 is equal to a half to the power a. 8, let's turn that, let's turn that into 2 to the power 3. A half, let's turn that into 2 to the power negative 1 to the power a. That means that 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power negative a. My page is moving around. 2 to the power negative a. Bases are the same. That means that the exponents are the same. That means that 3 is equal to negative a. That means that a is equal to negative 3. a is equal to negative 3. That means that log base a half to the 8 will equal negative 3. If you have struggled with any of the solve for x questions that I gave you to do, press pause on your DVD player, go through those and when you return we'll go through it together. Alternatively, let the DVD continue playing. Now on to the solving for x section. The first one I gave you to do was log base for x is equal to 3. This is an easy one. All that's going to happen is x is going to equal 4 to the power 3. You can leave it in that form. You could also turn it into 2 to the power 6. Because it's 2 to the power 2, which is the same as 4, to the power 3, which is 2 to the power 6. Or you could have given me an answer of 64, x is equal to 64. Either of those answers are correct. The next one we're going to look at, red log base 2x is equal to negative 2. Another easy one, this means that x is equal to 2 to the power negative 2 which is equal to 1 over 4 or it's equal to 1 over 2 squared again either of those three answers are correct number 3 red log base 3 27 plus log base 4 x is equal to 10. Now we're moving into slightly difficult ones although this one is still quite easy. I'm going to start off by simplifying that 27. I'm going to turn this into log base 3. 27 is the same as 3 to the power 3 plus log base 4 to the power x is equal to 10. This is the same as saying 3 times log base 3 to the 3 plus log base 4 to the x is equal to 10. 
log base 3 to the 3 is the same as 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus log base 4 to the x is equal to 10. That means that log base 4 to the x is equal to 10 minus 3 which is the same as 7. That means that x is equal to 4 to the power 7. You don't need to work this one out. You can leave it in that form. If you do want to work it out, you're welcome to. Just type into your calculator 4 to the power 7 or 2 to the power 14. Good luck with that. The fourth one I gave you to do, read log 3 plus log 5 is equal to log x. Now remember the first law of logarithms. Firstly, this is a base of a common base of 10. I don't need to put it in again because it's it's given log base 10 to the 3 plus log base 10 to the 5 can't we multiply these according to law 1 that will give us log 15 is equal to log x the bases are the same on both sides so we can just drop the logs that means that 15 is equal to x, or rather, x is equal to 15. The fifth one I gave you to do, read 2 to the power log x is equal to 16. Now we've got our log in the exponent. Not a problem. 2 to the power log x will equal 2 to the power 4. Remember 16 is 2 to the power 4. Bases are the same. That means that exponents are the same. That means that log x is equal to 4. That means that x is equal to 10 to the power 4. Remember there's a 10 there. You can leave it in that form. Alternatively, you could say x is equal to 10,000. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. And that just about brings us to the end of the second tutorial on exponents, logs and thirds. The third tutorial is on advanced exponents, advanced thirds and advanced logarithms. I look forward to seeing you guys there, but before you do, go through the exercise that I've left for you in the DVD tutorial workbook.